NASCAR is constantly changing with drivers, teams, and car manufacturers making moves to improve performance. But sometimes, even the best race plans don't go as expected, and that's exactly what happened during the recent Bristol race. This race brought out several key issues that are important to both NASCAR and its fans, especially when it comes to tire performance, team changes, and how these will affect the future. And we'll also talk about a new driver linked to Hendrick Motorsports and the potential changes this could bring to the sport. So, keep watching until the end. One of the biggest surprises during the Bristol race was the unexpected tire performance. NASCAR officials, drivers, and fans all noticed that the tires did not wear out as much as everyone expected. For those unfamiliar, tire wear is an important part of racing strategy. Tires that wear out faster force drivers to manage their speed and approach to the race. They have to pit for new tires more often, and the worn tires make the car harder to control. This can lead to more excitement during the race, as drivers must balance speed with caution. During the spring Bristol race earlier this year, the tire wear was quite noticeable, and it made the race exciting. The drivers had to be smart about saving their tires, which led to more movement in the race order. But in the recent fall race, despite using the same type of tires as before, the wear was much lower. The tires could go for long runs without much performance loss. This lack of wear meant the drivers didn't need to pit as often, and there wasn't as much variability in performance. The race was much less exciting, and fans were not happy. NASCAR's vice president of competition, Elton Sawyer, admitted that even NASCAR was confused by this issue. Yeah, I think, you know, Mikey, you kind of, uh, we're baffled, to be perfectly honest. Um, you know, we felt like that we had a recipe there that um, from the spring that gave us what we're looking for in our short track racing. As the weekend started to unfold, the racetrack was taking rubber, something it didn't do in the spring. So we'll, we'll dive into that with our meetings today with our our folks at Goodyear to see what maybe they have um, been able to um, come up with over the last couple of days. Goodyear has a major role in designing the tires used in NASCAR races, so any problem with tire performance is something they have to address. The pressure on Goodyear to deliver a high-quality tire is immense. NASCAR, the teams, and the fans expect them to provide a tire that not only lasts, but also creates interesting race conditions. But delivering that is not always easy. Goodyear has to balance many factors, including safety, performance, and cost. Making tires that wear out too quickly could lead to dangerous situations, while making tires that last too long can lead to dull racing, as we saw at Bristol. Denny Hamlin, a well-known NASCAR driver, has been quite vocal about the problems with Goodyear tires. On his podcast, Hamlin talked about how Goodyear's process for making racing tires is outdated compared to how they make tires for regular street cars. People have to understand that the process of making the tires is a very imperfect process. And there's a lot of reasons to this, but I think there. this is just kind of what I hear is that where they make the racing tires is very, 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 very antiquated versus how they make new street Goodyear tires. The equipment they have, uh, the preciseness of how the tires are put together, the mixture, all that stuff is very precise on your street tires. One example I can give you is, I can't remember if it was the spring of this year or the fall of last year, Martinsville. There was a date code that was three tenths faster than the, all the other date codes. And so I believe at that time, Goodyear was like, yeah, that came in a little low on our softness but it, we thought it was enough in range where it really wouldn't make a difference and it was amazing at martinsville whoever put them on like drove straight to the front hamlin also mentioned that goodyear might not be fully to blame for all the issues he speculated that there might be labor contracts or other factors that limit how much goodyear can change its processes but at the same time hamlin believes that nascar is putting too much pressure on goodyear to fix problems with the next gen car this next-gen car, which was introduced a couple of years ago, has not performed well at certain tracks, particularly short tracks like Bristol. Instead of redesigning the car, which would be expensive, NASCAR has been trying to fix the problem by tweaking the tires. It is a car problem. We are trying to fix it with tires because that's the most economical way for us to fix it. 
me as a car owner, I do not want to buy any more parts or pieces for this next gen car. Um, we already have a tough enough time keeping up with all the changes that we've had to do to this thing. I said years ago, we got to just design a next gen 2.0. Take that off the record because it's just going to be way too expensive. We just didn't do a great job with design from the get go. And this is what we got. Kyle Larson, another top driver, also weighed in on the tire debate. Larson recently posted a long thread on social media where he questioned whether Bristol ever really had significant tire wear in the past. He noted that even before the next-gen car, Bristol was always a tough track for passing, with long stretches where one driver would dominate the race. Larson doesn't think it's fair to blame Goodyear entirely for the lack of excitement at Bristol. Instead, he pointed out that the current car design is part of the problem, as it makes all the cars too equal. When everyone is running at the same speed, it's harder to pass and the races become less interesting. Despite all the criticism, Larson did acknowledge that some improvements have been made. He pointed out that the racing at certain tracks has gotten better compared to the first year of the next-gen car. He also mentioned that Goodyear is bringing a softer tire compound to an upcoming race at Martinsville, which could lead to more tire wear and more exciting racing. But for now, the debate over whether the issue lies with the tires, the cars, or both continues. Away from the tire discussions, there's also been some significant moves in the NASCAR world that could shape the future of the sport. One of the most talked about moves involves Justin Haley, a young driver who recently signed a deal with Spire Motorsports. Haley, who is only 25 years old, has already made a name for himself in NASCAR, and his move to Spire is seen as a big step forward in his career. What makes this move even more interesting is the involvement of Hendrick Motorsports, one of the top teams in NASCAR. According to reports, Haley's contract is not just with Spire, but it also involves Rick Hendrick in some capacity. This has led to speculation that Spire Motorsports might be looking to become a Tier 1 Chevy team similar to Hendrick. In simple terms, this would mean that Spire would get better equipment and more support from Chevrolet, making them more competitive on the track. Spire has been making big moves recently, bringing in veteran driver Michael McDowell for next season and hiring Rodney Childers, a championship-winning crew chief. Haley's addition to the team, along with these other moves, suggests that Spire is serious about becoming a top contender in the coming years. Haley has already shown that he can perform well, even with a less competitive team, so pairing him with better equipment and experienced leadership could lead to great things. However, there is some uncertainty about what this means for Haley's future beyond 2025. While he is currently with Spire, some wonder if this deal with Hendrick could eventually lead to Haley driving for Hendrick Motorsports. Hendrick already has a strong lineup of drivers, including Kyle Larson, Chase Elliott, William Byron, and Alex Bowman, all of whom are under contract for the next few years. But in NASCAR, things can change quickly, and if Haley continues to impress, he could find himself in one of the top seats in the sport. And that's it for today's episode. Don't forget to give this video a like and also subscribe to the channel while you're down there.